Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got a defensive video for you today. We got an A gap blitz uh, defense that uh, I think somebody probably already put out. I'll tell you guys how this was brought to my attention. Uh, one of my Patreon subscribers was sending me some texts asking me how to do a new defense that he said was getting around. He then sent me some video clips of it to watch uh, from Throne. Throne, a, a YouTube uh, gamer. Uh, was having it done against him. He didn't break down how to do it in the video, but he sent me several video clips of his showing Throne uh, basically uh, having trouble getting uh, around this blitz. So uh, he even mentioned in that video that somebody must have put it out on YouTube based off of the fact that multiple pe multiple people were running it against him. So I, I took it in the lab, like I said, I figured out how to do it. So whether you've seen this video or not, I'm bringing it to my audience. So if you didn't see this, I'm going to show you guys how to do a really good A-gap blitz uh, from the uh, cover three, or it's the cover three right there at the top from the three four bear. Uh, this is the one I'm showing it from this particular defense because the Ravens is probably the next ebook that I'm going to put out. Um, I have a four three defense ebook out already in the, as the Chiefs, and I also want to do one out of the three four because the three four is also really good. And I just like like the four four split. It's one of my favorite run defenses. There's some really good pass defenses in here. It's either going to be this or the Patriots. But ultimately, like I said, this is going to be the play. Let's go and let's pick that at the top. And then on the offensive side, it doesn't really matter. We're going to pick, I'm going to pick random gun, I guess. Um, I just don't want something, I, I'll try to pick a pass play. I don't want to pick something with short routes. I'm just going to pick PA crossers. So if you already did see this video, you already did see somebody put out this blitz, I'm going to go a step further at the end of the video and show you guys a good way to counter this blitz, a uh, good offensive package um, that, can, uh, that you can use to try to stop this blitz. So, you know, stick around for that. Other than that, let's go and let's show you guys how to do the blitz. Uh, really, it's really simple. All you really have to do, hit the right bumper. Uh, the R, It's R1 or the right bumper if you're on Xbox or PlayStation. And then you're going to pinch the entire defense. That's the first thing you want to do. Now, one of the things I don't like about that is typically your cornerbacks um, are susceptible outside. If you pinch the entire defense like that, uh, you can have your cornerbacks get beat on streaks. So that's something I'm going to adjust with in a minute here. So... Go ahead and pinch your defense. Then you're going to want to put the uh, the defensive front on a slant inside. That's D-pad to the left and down. Uh, you'll see they look like this now. They all are kind of like, that's kind of where this pressure comes from. You can see um, they're all kind of crashing inwards in the one gap. This is basically going to glitch uh, the inside by giving switches where they're going to switch them off and basically pass them off to nobody. So that's the second part. Third part, QB contain. That's hitting the uh, right bumper twice or the R1 button twice. And then I also like to uh, make sure that I uh, guess pass. Uh, I don't think that's 100% necessary. The last part, and this is the part that's probably the hardest to figure out, uh, was putting the B the B guy here um, on a uh, QB spy. That's the outside linebacker. So that's basically the setup right there. That, uh, that, that QB spy really doesn't come into play at all. But without it, it doesn't work. So that's kind of, you know, for whatever reason, that's kind of what makes this play successful. And then I'll go ahead and I'll let it run. You're going to see how these inside guys uh, a lot of times just basically switch off. Now, it didn't work that time. Uh, I'll, I'll run it again. For whatever reason, it's, sometimes it, it's a little spotty. So we'll go ahead and we'll do it again. Like I said, it can be a little bit spotty. So that's the look. So let's get this, uh, let's get this rolling here. There we go. We got that switch right off the bat. So, so like I said, it can be a little spotty. It's not 100% accurate. We're going to watch the replay if you missed that. So in the replay now, I've been saying this for a while, that the, the best way to beat these defenses is inside. Like outside, they really take care of outside blitzes pretty well this year, although I have a lot of good outside blitzes in my ebook. Uh, but ultimately, switches inside. I've been calling it a switch glitch. This is they've been now it's being called the disengage defense. But you can see right here, this guy right here, he's not always going to be the guy that gets off. I actually find that the opposite guy is usually the guy that gets off. This guy here usually is the one. Uh, but you can see for whatever reason, like I said, I don't. This doesn't really look like a switch. It just looks like a. It looks like he doesn't even really get touched. I mean, he kind of just like like uh, glitches right around him, never gets his hands on him, and then even the running back. Uh, which should have an opportunity right here, once again, doesn't even touch them. But you definitely want to, if you haven't had the opportunity to use this online, I did use this online a couple times, I gotta be honest, um, I wasn't, um, 
I wasn't too impressed with it. I thought it was okay, but you know what I mean? Ultimately, like, I, I find that, uh, you know, this isn't as good as you can see. The same guy gets through there. This isn't as good as it looks right now. It's definitely a good blitz. I would say one of the uh, bigger issues is, I mean, the setup's not too long, but it is a little bit of a lengthy setup. And then, like I said, it's not 100% guaranteed. You get that look a lot. I mean, obviously, if somebody's bearing in your face just like that, that's not going to be easy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's definitely something that if the blitz gets through, um, it's it's trouble. And then you can see, I get, I get this set up in pretty quick, but I would say one of the better ways to beat this defense would be to run the plays as quick as possible. And then, like I said, it's not 100% guaranteed. You can see it's about 50-50, uh, which is, to me, kind of makes... You know, it makes it makes me wonder if, if this is something that EA is going to patch or not. Like I said, I'm going to go on the offensive side now and show you guys a good way to counter this blitz. As far as one of the better ways to slow this uh, defense down, slow this blitz down, I really find that split, uh, split back packages are really going to be one of the best ways to do that. So all you really want to do is you can pick any play you want. I'm, I just picked the PAF slide. You can pick any passing play you want, really. All you really have to do is just block the running backs. Just just create like a secondary uh, set of blockers, a secondary offensive line, so that when that blitz comes through, these guys will pick them up. Now, sometimes this blitz, three guys will come through. So in that scenario, you're going to have to take it a step further, go into your pass protection options, and uh, basically just double team one of the players. So if I double team that guy on the edge right there, he's going to get taken out of the play, and then these two running backs should pick up the rest of the rest of the work. So if all three come through, I should be good. So like I said, on offense, just going to come out, you know, I'll make my adjustments, um, you know, do, do cover three beaters. So now if my opponent, you know, even if I, I can just chip away at this. I do the same trick when it comes to man blitzes and man coverages. I put zigs on both sides of the fields and I just dink and dunk them to death until they have to leave man coverage because they can't stop both. You know what I mean? So it's something that, uh, you know, this is something that, that will definitely work. So like I said, we'll set up that defensive blitz one more time just to show you how this will um, do a pretty good job of picking it up. Uh, if the blitz gets through, like I said, it's not even the most consistent blitz there. We definitely get that switch animation. And then you can see, I mean, I just roll out a little bit. Like I said, I'm not really too worried about completing the pass necessarily. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys there is ways to pick this up. It's still a really good blitz. So starting off, you can see right here, the first guy gets through. He gets picked up immediately by the running back. You know what I mean? 41 right here does a great job taking him out. The second running back is in place. But he's not a great pass blocker, I guess, because he just gets hands on him and lets him throw. So that's why I had to start rolling out. Because once he doesn't finish that block the same way the first guy did, I mean, it still picks it up way better than most, uh, most, you know, most offenses. He just runs right through. So I definitely had it working. You can see the tackles actually drop back. That's also why um, I was rolling out because I was like, if one guy gets through, I want to get behind this guy. So there's definitely ways um, to, you know, th either through rolling out or creating secondary blockers, like I was saying with the running backs, to to make this blitz void. Uh, and then ultimately, I mean, I wasn't really worried about the timing on the throw. Like I said, I mean, these outside uh, routes, um, you know, as long as they get an outside release, will be there. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I was really just watching the line just like you guys. So, I mean, that's probably one of the hardest parts about it is, is you, it's going to make you keep eyes on that line instead of eyes down the field, uh, which is probably what makes this so uh, such a, a good defense is because a lot of people are going to be pretty concerned with that. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.